Okay, I have the time as 6.33. It is Monday, September 14th of 2020. I will call the work session of the mayor and city council for the city of Snellville, Georgia to order. Uh, we do have a quorum present and we are socially distanced, so I'm gonna remove my mask so you can hear me better and I don't feel like I'm having to scream. Um, first, we'll go through our regular business agenda. Um, I'll need someone for the invocation. Tony Powell's not here. Is there someone else that will volunteer? <coughs> Todd should be good. Hey, Stefan, you're a guest. You want to say a prayer for us? <laughs> <laughs> I'll give it a shot. All right, okay. Gretchen will give it a like shot. It. I'm not prepared, though. That's all right. 30 seconds is all you need. And then Todd, do you want to do the pledge? Sure. You haven't done that yet. I remember the words. Uh, then under ceremonial matters, we have the proclamation for building babies' brains. Uh, we have approval of minutes. Under the old business, we have consideration and action on a change order between the county and the city. Uh, Butch, you want to give us an update on that? Sure. This is. Uh, has to do with the management of the uh, intersection project the signalization for wisteria and 124. Uh, the county had, uh, has been managing it and their schedule is just such and their workload is such that they really haven't made a lot of progress so um, we, we went and met with them and talked with them and they said you know it would be fine if you guys want to manage it, want to manage it um, and so you have to have an official change order to the agreement and so that's basically what this is it just moves management responsibility with dot from the county to the city and uh, um, we have uh, hired larry kaiser on an hourly basis to help us push some of these things through and uh, uh, so we'd like to go ahead and make it official with this with this change okay any questions so the change order includes the ability to pay Larry Kaiser on an hourly no, basis. No, the, the change order doesn't have anything to do with money. No, I it just it just moves the management responsibility to us. Do we have to have a separate action in order to hire Larry? Uh, we just we're just hiring him on an hourly basis okay. um, to to help us out on a couple of things. All right. So, uh, but this is the dollars. If you look in the uh, uh, the the document itself for the change order, the numbers do not change. We still have a maximum from the county of a little over a million and a half dollars, and there, it should not take a million and a half dollars to do this improvement. Um, we are, this is, as everybody knows, this is a, it's not a four way, it will not be a four way intersection. It will be a three way with a right in, right out for Harbor Oaks. So, uh, um, because that's what has always been voiced by the community. Uh, so we will be, uh, uh, and uh, CHA is doing the, doing the work as part of the town center improvements. And so they are uh, uh, doing the design work there. So we're, um, we just need to put this basically housekeeping measure in place for the, for the county. Okay. Um, item B is a uh, consideration and action on amendment to the personnel rules for hazard pay policy. As everybody knows, during the uh, uh, changes to employee working hours in the pandemic, uh, in, with COVID, uh, it was all public safety. Uh, the, the dispatch and patrol folks, uh, they had to come to work. We had to keep things going. And so the mayor and council approved a, uh, a subsidy to their pay. Um, and we did, did it kind of by the seat of our pants. Well, we're trying to make sure that next time it comes up, we have a policy in place for that, a uh, written policy where we, that we can follow. And uh, so that's basically what this, what this document is. <coughs> Okay, and then we have an item that uh, we need to add to the agenda. 
I'm, I'm requesting that we add the sixth amendment to the uh, uh, to the another extension for the design review period uh, for uh, uh, our agreement, our development agreement with Midcast. Uh, basically, this moves the deadline to October 26th, and it can't be moved any further. This will be the last one because we should be closing um, after the 26th and probably before the first council meeting in November. So uh, this just gives us um, uh, another 31 days, I believe, from September 25th to October 26th to, to get all the documents in place. Uh, Eric and I have a very good meeting with Chuck and Tony today. When it comes to the most important outstanding document, the joint development agreement, we're very close to finalizing construction plans, if you will, that will give Chuck and Tony the guidance that they need to, to finish their comments on that joint development agreement. So um, this will be the, uh, uh, and we just received this uh, um, last week, so um, I'm, I'm requesting that it be added and, and approved tonight by the Mayor and Council. Okay, so when we get to the approval of the agenda, if someone can include that in your motion. I've got the words. Okay. So do I, in case Dave fails us. <laughs> humana, 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 humana. In case yeah. he's slow on the button. He's slow on the button. Um, <laughs> and sometimes the buttons, you know, those clickers don't work quite like you expect. Um, and Butch has asked, he's going to be leaving the work session, leaving here and um, not attending the meeting. He's got a meeting with Jennifer and her oncologist tonight that he needs I, to attend. I, so. I'll try to stay through. It's 7.30 in, in Lawrenceville. I'll stay as long as I can. And uh, hopefully it'll be short. It looks like the agenda is going to be kind of short. I, I don't, you're going to, you're not going to miss me at all. Oh, we will. We will. <laughs> of course we will. Of course we'll miss you. You'll thrive in my absence. No, I don't think so. Okay, so that's uh, all for the regular business meeting. Any correspondence? No, ma'am. Uh, city attorney's report. Okay, and then update on ongoing projects. Um, several things here. Uh, the, the first item, of course, uh, pertains to the town center progress update uh, that, that went out last week. Um, we have a, a, a call again with winter tomorrow morning. Uh, we're doing that bi-weekly now instead of weekly. Uh, that is uh, every Tuesday morning at uh, 1030, Eric? Is it 1030? Um, I have, do not have that uh, call-in information yet from Kyle. As soon as I get it, I'll send it out to everybody. Um, the second reminder there is the field trip to Alpharetta on the 24th. Uh, we'll just leave when, when our uh, educators can, can get to City Hall and uh, we'll head out there. Um, and two, uh, two other things that I need to add uh, that just got set today. Um, on Friday, <coughs> this coming Friday, the 18th of, of September, at 11.30, there will be a, uh, uh, a socially distanced meeting in this room uh, for a coordination meeting between Root Design and Midcast on the Grove. Uh, so we could have three council members attend in person <coughs> for that, uh, 11.30 Friday. Basically, everybody knows that Midcast is completing their base plan for, for the Grove. And uh, Michael Kidd, I think, is very, very close to completing the additional city improvements for the Grove. And this is a coordination meeting for, for that to make sure we're on the same page. We're, we're very close. But there are some outstanding questions to be answered. Um, and then at 1 o'clock, there will be a call uh, among the group here and uh, a group that, that are not attending regarding the market building. Uh, market building discussion, um, I'll be sending out, we just received in our earlier meeting, an update from Jamal Wilson on some of his thoughts and des further design thoughts as far as the market. Um, so that'll be a chance, I think, for Brett. Eric, is that not right? Is Brett Hutchins not going to update us on all his meetings with that's Jamal? Correct. So uh, um, that's uh, at, at 1 o'clock, and that's probably about 30 minutes, so probably two hours altogether. Um, so uh, you guys can 
have some representatives there, that would be great. Um, I will plan to be there. I will too. I can be, but I don't want to. I'll be out of town. I will be there. <laughs> Are you feeding us this time? Uh, I mean, <laughs> the, 11.30 to 1.30. Yeah. Okay. There will be some sustenance there, right. and I, I know Christy's going to hate to miss that. Yeah, well, you know, we could see what we could do. Todd's into the food as much as you are. Yeah. It's 11.30 to 1.30. That's like prime eating time. There's never a bad time to eat. It might be pretty basic. But, uh, um, Bring some but anyway, that's... Uh, uh, but just going to make some peanut butter and jellies. I'm down with that. Isn't it? Brown bag lunch. I love peanut butter and jelly. <laughs> Me. I sell. <laughs> Those are the up upcoming meetings pertaining to uh, the town center right now. Um, we'll let you know if anything happens in the uh, in the two week interim here. Um, design review period. I appreciate you con considering that uh, final extension today. Um, we did receive some new budget numbers from, uh, from Midcast, which we're getting some specifics on so I can update the, uh, the, the city budget. And I would just say from looking at those, it's mostly good news. Uh, the site work budget um, is, is something that um, is a number that will come down, the current budget in there. But there may be a few other things that, that go up. But I think overall there will be a reduction. So I think we'll, it, it's mostly positive. Um, we do have some, you know, this meeting Friday, uh, we'll decide some of those numbers uh, because we don't know, in my mind, I don't have the exact threshold or handoff from the base plan to what we're doing. And it's important that we, that we determine that because they're paying for all of the the base. the base plant base construction on the grove and then we have the extras and i think michael's putting the finishing touches on what will be his estimate for our budget um, master deck jda uh, the parcel 13 easement these are all the the documents that um, you know pertain to that extension uh, and the parcel 13 easement may even be since it, it's been determined as phase two uh, it, it, it really, I think, could be probably uh, pushed off until even later, as long as we have an understanding on how we maintain our, our access to the rear of the property there. So, um, the civil engineering, CHA, um, is, is doing a good job on that. Like I said, we have a number that, that looks very good uh, within our, within our, well within our budget number. Uh, which was capped, if everybody remembers, from the master development agreement. Um, Grove plans moving along. The second meeting, I think, went, went very well. I think everybody's satisfied with the direction we're headed there with Michael. Um, County Library, <clears throat> the IGA for construction, we had a, another discussion with the support services folks that I think was very positive. We're all in agreement on budget numbers and fees and we're just trying to put that into the construction IGA and there is one outstanding issue that we need to clear up as to how we're are we going to amend the design IGA or are we going to put the the, the, the few changes into the construction IGA so we'll we'll clear that up in the next next few days um, the parking deck um, the, the improvement, the, the approval that you gave at the last meeting for Metromont uh, has them moving forward on the, the precast design, a very important part of the parking deck. Uh, we'll get an update from winter in the morning on uh, where they stand schedule-wise, but I think we're well within schedule. Uh, apartment design is continuing as far as uh, mid-cast is concerned. Uh, very important that that ties in with the deck, of course. Um, Stormwater master detention. Um, Dickerson uh, has started the work. I don't know how many people have seen the, the video on, on the Greenway or not. Uh, Just I, us. I, I guess it's going to be, will it be, is 
Brian, Brian Voice. He's over there. There he is. Will that be up tomorrow? I'm going to put it up tomorrow morning. Okay. Okay. Um, a great video that the mayor and Brian did, and with Dave's help on the on drone drone work uh, for for the Greenway, and also talking about the latest updates on the Grove. So uh, Brian did a great job with this video. I'm really excited. Good. It's really cool. Does it have lip syncing? It does not. No, that's too bad. Yeah. We're good at that. Maybe we need to do another one and I'll do the voice over. Yeah. <laughs> but one thing that that does show is the, that's not, it looks very wide. That's not only the path for the, for the Greenway, but it's the detention area detention too. Detention area too. So uh, uh, they've done a lot of clearing. They've taken advantage of, taken advantage of pretty good weather. Um, Market design and leasing agreement, we um, had another discussion today legally. Uh, we have a couple things to clear up there with, with Midcast, but I, I, I really think we can uh, get that done once we talk to the principals. Um, uh, city source of funds, we're still, uh, um, we, we need to have that discussion when the budget gets updated. Maybe a work session, um, maybe a work session even before the next meeting, uh, but definitely maybe an extended work session at the next meeting to, to go over the budget. Um, the public infrastructure, the design is underway there. Uh, signed ordinance, I know there's a lot of discussion between Midcast and the planning department. Uh, USPS, um, as I said on here, uh, it's on schedule for either a November 8th or a November 15th move. We feel like we have a commitment from all the parties, the operational folks, as well as the, the contractor. Talking to our advocate, Jerry Goddard, today, he said he will know more and be certain by the end of the week, as far as the, the, the date there. Uh, Eric had a very good meeting with the contractor and uh, local USPS officials, and you know we, we just feel very, very positive about that. So, uh, looking forward to the move. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's for sure. Uh, and the, the the final item there that's uh, still outstanding uh, is the RCG easement, so the uh, sanitary sewer project can can continue. Um, they've hired an outside counsel, uh, Chuck. I know they sent something to you. I sent it back to the county. Um, their comments, I think, are going to be accepted by RCG. Hopefully, we have that signed this week, and, uh, and the county can start the bid process there. So, all in all, um, things look very good. Not uh, um, there's still a long way to go uh, to get to closings and, and groundbreaking, but um, everything is moving positively in that in that direction. That's all I can say. Okay. Um, the other items on here um, will remain on here. We, we still don't know the, the total COVID impact. We got another great SPLOS check this month. Uh, it was $290,000. Oh, wow. Uh, so the impact may be a lot less than we think. Uh, but I, I, I want to wait on the first, the, Let's, let's get, you know, those checks are two months in arrears, basically. Let's get a couple more. Let's, uh, um, let's make sure we get our CARES Act reimbursement from the county, and then we'll be able to look at amending the budget. Um, census planning. Um, Solange, one thing I learned this week in talking to the, the census folks, or last week, um, there are two numbers here. This is an individual response rate. Mm -hmm. they, they have not added the, the census takers numbers. They feel like we are over 90% when, they, when you add in the, mm -hmm. the census takers door-to-door -door work. Mm -hmm. So we're doing better than this number uh, would, would, would tell us. Um, you know, the end is approaching, so um, we, we need, to, need to keep pushing. Um, we're still ahead of uh, the county and every city, I think, except for um, Peachtree Corners. So um, 
it's a it's a pretty strong number. Uh, the UDM, the Planning Commission, is scheduled for 922 um, council adoption in October. Um, and one question that came up um, was the with two city council meetings. Uh, on the major items, we have always allowed for public comment at both. And I want to make sure y'all are comfortable with moving forward in that in that manner. Sure. Okay. With the huge crowds we've had, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> well, I, I, I hope that, uh, uh, judging by the number of uh, the internet comments we got, I, I'm not sure how many people will have. <laughs> we'll see. We'll see. Well, they'll have uh, the opportunity anyway. We could also even advertise it if people want to submit written comments. Yeah. Uh, beforehand yeah. that we can read out or uh, consider in the meeting too. We certainly have given them every opportunity. Mm -hmm. And I know it's a lot to get your arms around. Mm -hmm. It's not easy. Uh, uh, commercial property code enforcement. Uh, let us know if there's anything new out there Johnny keeps uh, keeps pushing on, on in, in every area. Um, a couple things under miscellaneous, our group health update. Um, we're working as hard as we can to keep our premium increase down. Aetna has told us that, that their number might be 60% uh, 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 increase. Um, we're, we're, we're working with everybody out there, um, in, including Kaiser. We had a, we had a uh, Zoom call with Kaiser where they showed us their new facilities. And, uh, it's just, uh, we'll see where we get to. Um, and then the CARES Act request is still outstanding with the county. And Melissa, wasn't that about two and a half million? Yeah. So uh, uh, hopefully they'll, they're looking at it. GW, GWMA says they're looking at it very positively. So we'll hopefully get an update tomorrow afternoon on, the, on that call. That's, that's all I have. Okay. Any questions for Butch? Okay. Well, that ends our work session agenda. So we'll have an executive session at 6.55, so we'll have plenty of time for that. So we can go ahead and call that. During the work session of the Mayor and City Council of Snellville, Georgia, Mayor Bender announced that certain matters should be discussed in a closed session of the meeting and asked council to advise the city.